Good evening, everybody. Welcome back with Life with the Hamptons. Uh, what we've got for you today is a pretty cool little episode. We're finally going to do a range test on this Fleet Lithium 72-volt, uh, 105-amp-hour battery. And, uh, and pardon the, the creek, if you will, but I yeah, just want to give you a good update. We have a, uh, I've got a video out that shows the install of this battery. But just wanted to come to you, and we're going to do a uh, we're going to do a range test on it. Um, we're going to get right into it. The lithium battery. What I do want to tell you is, uh, you can see, we'll see here. And you check it out. Like I said, you can go back and check out the the other video, but uh, about the install and stuff. But we've got it all going, so we're just going to get right into it. And if you're not familiar, we're just going to get started. I have my my odometer set, so if you're not familiar with uh, these batteries um, and this uh, get you right in here it might be quieter it might not be but these lithium lithium batteries lead acid batteries uh, we're just going to do a little vlog as we're going but lead acid batteries if you're familiar with those they uh, they're almost impossible to do a percentage as far as uh, calculating your mileage so you can't you can't run and get your mileage and then calculate and say 20% of the battery and then try to figure out how many miles you've went according to that 20% and then times it by five, if you will. That'll get your 100% of your battery usage. You cannot do that on lead acid batteries because 95% of your energy um, is gonna be in the first 50%. So what we can do on lithium, and this is what we're gonna do, uh, on this lithium battery, we're going to calculate it. We're at 90% right now. And we're going to calculate and we're going to go down until we get 80%. And when we hit 80%, we're going to see our mileage. And then, and then on lithium batteries, you can calculate that. So according to what mileage you get in 10%, you can times that by 10 and in theory it will give you if your driving habits stay the same it will give you this that mileage so that's what we're going to try to do right now so we're going to we're going to get into it and we're going to head down the creek and uh, just ride a little bit and uh, i will try to uh, come back to you here in just a little bit we've got a lot of traffic on the creek this evening and i'm not sure if uh I've told you, but uh, I think I have in that first video, but this buggy has been programmed. I, I programmed this buggy. Um, it will actually run 35 miles an hour in uh, rabbit mode, and I have it programmed to where it'll run 22 to 23 in, in uh, slow mode, in turtle mode. So it has been reprogrammed. Um, it looks like my amperage on the most I've been able to get it to pull on turtle mode is about, I think it was, I want to say 270 or 280 amps. And in turtle, or in, in the fast mode, I have got it to pull uh, 540. So uh, it's really pulling the amps. So we're just gonna continue to ride here. We're down at the, at the mighty NOC. Taking a little look, see around. We'll get back up the road. Yeah, as you can see here, we got it just popped down to 79% as I was pulling back in my driveway. So, uh, run 80 uh, down 10%. We ran it 10% from here all the way to the main road and back, and I'll drop in the mileage right here. It's uh, 3.26 miles down there and back and it used 10 percent so three miles gets you uh uses 10 percent of the battery uh i wasn't easy on it but i wasn't hard on it uh i'm running it in rabbit mode and what i did notice going down most of the time i was running around 100 amps a little less than 100 amps going down and coming back up it stayed between 180 and 200 amps coming back up of course it's all uphill it's probably um you know maybe 500 feet in elevation and in, in a mile and a half so uh 
but anyway, so it, you can kind of tell kind of what it used like that. And uh, I just want to talk a little bit more about the battery itself. When I was searching for lithium batteries for this, uh, I, I wanted the most range I could get and afford. It's, I know it's a, it's a tight line. The more range you want, the more it costs. But uh, I began to look around and I searched the interweb for months and months uh, and, and searched. And I looked at all the Roy Pals. I looked at all uh, big batteries, all of their stuff, Dakotas, everything, um, Allied's, all of those things you can imagine. Like I said, I, I, I diligently searched for months and um, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like any of those that I saw. They were all either really expensive to get what I needed um, or they just couldn't provide what I needed. And what I'm talking about, what I need, this buggy has 600 amps. Uh, it pulls 600 amps or, or has the potential to pull 600 amps from the battery. So I, need a, I needed a BMS and a battery that would sustain, you know, at least 300 continuous amps and then have, you know, at least 600 amps of peak. Because uh, if you don't have that, it's just gonna shut off and then your BMS will have to reset. And then so you'll leave you dead in the water for you know, 20, 30 seconds or a minute every time the BMS kicks off, you have to reset your battery. So that's just no good. Uh, it's rough on the battery. So I, I wanted a premium battery, um, but I, I didn't have the premium money. So <laughs> that, that kept me searching for a long time. But anyway, I ran across <clears throat> this Fleet Lithium and I called and I actually got a hold of this guy named Kevin. And what, what was awesome about Kevin, man, he was so excited and I could tell that he was so energetic and enthused with his product. Um, you know, we got to talking and he gave me all the specs, the sizes. We went over, we talked for probably that first conversation, probably like an hour, maybe longer. Uh, and, and he said he really didn't have anything on the East Coast and didn't have anybody um, to do a, you know, a true review of the battery. Uh, other than what he was doing, you know, and, and I, I'm in real world country. Y'all watch some of my videos. I am in some steep, steep terrain. So anyway, I'm trying to make this as short as I can. So anyway, uh, Kevin worked with me and uh, he said, I'll tell you what, um, he said, I want you to try, if you'll try one of my batteries, he said, um, I, I want you to give a, a true review of it. He said, I don't want you to hold back or anything like that. Now, I, I bought this battery. I paid for this battery. Um, but, but Kevin, he said, I promise you it'll be what you want. It'll be everything that you need. And he was straight up uh, with me. He didn't, you know, he didn't cut me a line of smoke or anything. So um, I, I just liked that one-on-one. -on -one. I liked the customer service of his product. So I bought it. And so he, he sent it to me we have installed it and i told him i promise i'm not going to cut any slack i'm going to i'm going to torture test it i'm going to do all i can to it to make it fail because you promised me that it wouldn't and since you promised me that uh it would do everything that i asked of it to do we're going to be torture testing it. we're going to put it through its paces uh we'll be going up some super steep mountains and and trying it like that i'll keep it in uh rabbit mode where it's drawing the most amps and we'll be trying it up some of these big steep hills and all that stuff but right now we're wanting to do a range test and just see what it's going to do on this what i want to do right now is we're going to go back <clears throat> and we're going to go i'm going to put it in uh turtle mode and we're going to go back and run it an additional 10 percent and see what kind of mileage we get out of that if it's any better or any worse so let's try that all right guys we're heading back down and uh what I want everybody to realize is we're not in a golf cart. We're in a uh, highly modified, very powerful UTV or side-by-side. -side. This is a 40 horsepower electric side-by-side, -side, 72 volt. So I just don't want you to think you can really compare this unit uh, as far as whatever mileage we get. I don't, I don't, want, us, don't want you to compare it to your 72 volt golf cart. Um, with a you know with a five or a, or a six thousand watt motor on it that's you know that's eight horsepower because that is going to get double the range or, or at least double the range than this wheel hands down uh, this if you go back and watch our videos i have welded the rear diff in this so 
This is, I'm running 26 inch tall mud tires on this thing. And uh, they're on 14 inch rims. Uh, like I said, the rear end is welded. The spider gears are welded solid, so it has just tons of rolling resistance. Every curve you go around one of the inside tires is in a bind. This one is four wheel drive, so my front motor is on all the time. But I just want to kind of give you a show you right here what kind of uh, amperage we're pulling. Right now, it's showing that we're like uh, 50, 60 amps is, is what it's pulling. So, uh, and I'm running 22, 23 miles an hour. So, I just wanted you to see that as we're going on down. It's not pulling nowhere near the amps going down the road as, as it was in, in the rabbit mode. We were pulling in rabbit mode, I was pulling well over 100 amps all the way down. So now we're, we're cruising at 50, average 50 amps. So uh, we'll just see what it's gonna do when we run back up. Yeah, as you see, we're on our second trip down to the NOC. Now we'll just head back up. The Appalachian Trail. Guys, we're gonna look again. Now we're going back up the creek. And you can see the voltage is staying under 100. May hit 100 on a little bitty hill or incline. There it goes to 111, 115, but it's back under 100. While it was in rabbit mode, we were coming up through here, and uh, I was at 180 to 200. Now, uh, I, that's going to make a difference. It has to, but uh, we'll just see. We'll keep clicking off the mileage and see what it does. that I get on, it's even pulling 170 some amps in uh, turtle mode. So uh, I don't know if there's really a rhyme or reason on uh, which one is more economical, either the turtle mode or the rabbit mode, just depends on how far your foot on, is on the pedal. So yeah, so we're going, it's really steep up this, this hill, probably a 9% grade. And it's pulling, right now it's pulling 192 amps. And that's that's what I was pulling at about the same speed um, in, in the rabbit mode. So it's gonna use about the same looks like, but we'll calculate when we get up here. Hey everybody, we just made it back to our pull-in spot. So uh, as you see right here, we are down to 68%. And just as we pulled in, it clicked from 69 to 68%. So that's exactly what it did uh, when we pulled in the first trip while it was in rabbit mode. So uh, I can't say that it used any less by having it in turtle mode. It doesn't look like it did at all. It looks like it's identical. So uh, yeah, when we, we got about right there on this uh, D cell right here is when it clicked down the first time it clicked down from 80 percent to 79 right there as we pulled in and then we left from 79 percent and it went from 69 percent right there to 68 percent as we pulled in so it was identical so it doesn't look like it's any more economical to run it in turtle mode versus uh, rabbit mode and and again i'm sure i'm sure that the factory tracker evs it is more economical to run it in the turtle mode. I'm 100% I'm, I'm positive it is. But what I've done here is I've cranked this one up. I've, I've reprogrammed it to where now my turtle mode runs 23, 22 to 23 miles an hour. And uh, it just gets a lot more juice in, the, in that turtle mode now than it does from a factory. So and while it was in rabbit mode, the first round trip, I just took it easy. So I wouldn't run it but 23, 25 mile an hour anyway. But just wanted to see here what we got. And uh, I want to check you here, the uh, the battery here. While we go by, we got some neighbors going down. But again, this is Fleet Lithium. Good looking battery. Fleet Lithium battery. 
uh, 76.8 volt, 105 amp hour. This is the Bluetooth for the BMS. Uh, there is the onboard charger that we now have. Super Susie, uh, super Susie, super easy install. As you'll go back and you can check our uh, install video. Super simple, um, well laid out instructions, all of that stuff. Uh, it, but if you want a battery that is absolutely going to be, it's going to be a good looking. A small package and it has massive bang for the buck this entire kit uh, you can actually get this entire kit the whole entire install kit the gauge wiring everything cheaper than you can get uh, just a battery from somebody else so uh, but this has all grade a battery cells in it uh, if you would look on um, uh, I think it is uh, lakeside buggies I believe is what it is um, on YouTube. He uh, he is the owner of these batteries, and he has uh, he just uploaded a, a, a video to where he took the case off of one of these batteries, where you could actually see in it. You can see the BMS. He does a comparison between uh, the Fleet Lithium battery and another green top shelf battery, a, a competitor. So he does a comparison and there is no comparison. So you can plainly see the difference in the size of these BMSs, the way that the, the, uh, the gauge, uh, the, the cable that's used on these uh, fleet lithiums just far surpass that of, of anybody else in the industry. But this is an amazing battery, an amazing price point. You, I can't really believe uh, what you get for the price point. Um, it's, it's awesome. So I do encourage you to uh, check out fleet lithium. I don't think you can go wrong with it. God bless you guys. Like, share, and subscribe.